June 5, 2023. Memorial of St. Boniface, Bishop and Martyr. A reading from the book of Tobit. I, Tobit, have walked all the days of my life on the paths of truth and righteousness. I performed many charitable works for my kinsmen and my people who had been deported with me to Nineveh in Assyria. On our festival of Pentecost, the Feast of Weeks, a fine dinner was prepared for me, and I reclined to eat. The table was set for me, and when many different dishes were placed before me, I said to my son Tobiah, My son, go out and try to find a poor man from among our kinsmen, our kinsmen exiled here in Nineveh. If he is a sincere worshiper of God, bring him back with you, so that he can share this meal with me. Indeed, son, I shall wait for you to come back. Tobiah went out to look for some poor kinsmen of ours. When he turned, he exclaimed, Father, I said to him, What is it, son? He answered, Father, one of our people has been murdered. His body lies in the marketplace where he was just strangled. I sprang to my feet, leaving the dinner untouched, and I carried the dead man from the street and put him in one of the rooms so that I might bury him after sunset. Returning to my own quarters, I washed myself and ate my food in sorrow. I was, rem I was reminded of the oracle pronounced by the prophet Amos against Bethel. All your festivals shall be turned into mourning, and all your songs into lamentation. And I wept. Then at sunset I went out, dug a grave, buried him. The neighbors mocked me, saying to one another, he is still not afraid. Once before he was hunted down for execution because of this very thing, yet now that he has scarcely escaped, here he is again burying the dead. The Word of the Lord The Responsorial Psalm The response is, Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just man shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenant farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the tenants to obtain from them some of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Again he sent them another servant, and that one they beat over the head and treated shamefully. He sent yet another whom they killed. They killed. So too many others. Some they beat, others they killed. He had one other to send, a beloved son. He sent him to them last of all, thinking, They will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, This come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him, 
and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come, put the tenants to death, and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this scripture passage? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. They were seeking to arrest him, but they feared the crowd, for they realized that he had addressed the parable to them. So they left him and went away. The Gospel of the Lord.